all right in this video let's take care of the url patterns and the views all right so let's go to our api urls okay so here we will put a comma here and i'll say path for the blogs right for blocks i will use blocks forward slash and comma views dot blocks view blocks view dot as view i'm gonna create the class based view for it okay so similarly i will create another url pattern for the comments okay comments so this is just a non-primary key url patterns all right so the views will be comments view okay so blocks forward slash views dot blocks view and after that comments forward slash views dot comments view dot as view okay so we have these two functions now let's actually go to views okay so inside the api we will go to views and we'll say class blocks view let's make use of generics okay, so you can use mixins you can use view sets or you can use the api view as well okay but for this example we will use generics so since we want this uh, blocks view to be able to handle the listing of the data and creating the data okay so that's why we will use list create api view okay so it comes from generics dot list create api view all right so this will now actually take care of the listing of the objects and the creating a new object all right so this will take query set query set is equal to blog okay so looks like we did not import blog we'll actually say from blocks dot models import blog after that comment perfect so go back to this view here blog dot objects dot all and after that we'll simply say serializer class is equal to blog serializer all right so we did not bring in this block serializer as well let's point to from blogs app dot serializers import blog serializer comma comment serializer all right let's scroll down and here we'll say blogs serializer okay save it and you know what it is asking us to create comments view as well right let's create another class generics dot list create api view again and this is also a non-primary key based operation which is uh, listing down the objects and creating a new object query set is equal to comment dot objects dot all and provide the serializer class which is equal to comment serializer okay so at this point you can access this blocks and comments all right so this is our root endpoint and we will go to blocks and we don't have any blocks yet we'll go to comments and we do not have any comments yet okay no worries we'll go ahead and create the blocks from here you can also create the blocks from this uh, backend right admin panel also but uh, we'll create it from here okay we'll say this is a blog one and this is block description let's post it and we have one block okay we have one block and uh, we will create another blog this is another blog blog description to post it all right go to blocks and you see we have two blocks right we have two blocks id1 and id2 okay so this is a standard api right so this is not a nested serializer or anything like that but we will create the comments as well we'll create a comment and for the blog one we will write a comment this is a nice comment this is a nice comment and 
will read this comment to this blog one post it okay and again we will write this is another nice comment another nice comment to the blog one right post it okay so we have two comments which is written for blog one right both of these comments belongs to the blog one right now if i go to blocks if i go to blocks we have two blocks right now we know that the blog one has two comments right i want to get those two comments you know in this endpoints only okay i want to get those two comments as well so similarly if block two has any comments i want to list down here right so for that what we need to do is we need to actually go to our block serializer so inside this block serializer we will pass the comments okay because you see we are inside the blocks right so we know that this blog one has two comments because we have created two comments for this blog one right so that is what i want to bring in here so that's why what i'll do is this is the blocks right so i'll go to blocks serializer here okay so i'll say comments okay so here one very important thing you should remember is that this comment should be the related name of this comment model okay so whatever related name you write here this should go here okay so this should go here so comment is equal to what you need to do is you need to actually say comment serializer okay comment is equal to comment serializer and after that because this you know comments can be multiple right so for that reason you should say true and after that you should also say read only is equal to true all right so if you you know one single line of code will bring in all the comments that belongs to a specific blog post okay so you don't need to do anything extra so now if i refresh this blocks right you see an array of blogs right so this means the blog id one which is this one is the whole blog and uh, that blog one will have the comments okay so this is that blog one right so this comment is empty here because this one does not have any comments right this is the block two right what i'll do is i'll go to comments okay i'll go back to the comment and i will add a comment a good comment a good comment to this is another block which is the second block right i'll add a comment to the second block and click on post and you see we have three comments now okay in total we have three comments you see notice this we are inside the comments all right so this has listed down all the comments now so out of these three comments two of them belongs to the blog one right two of these belongs to blog one and the third one belongs to the second block okay now how it looks in the as a nested serializers we'll go back to the blocks and you see now this one is block one and this one is block two so inside the block two we have this new block of comment right so it comes as a array okay so if you copy this whole thing you copy this whole thing and go to json weaver okay, json weaver dot stack dot who you paste this here and click on weaver right so there are two objects now so inside the first objects we have id1 which is you know we have the first block you know with the id is one and the first block has got two comments and if you want to see the comments here you can see this is the comment one this is the comment two right similarly for the blog two we have a specific set of comments right so this one has got only one comment so that's why it is showing one comment okay so that's how this nested serializers work so the next one we'll see how we can perform the primary key based operations on this nested serializers